What's going on boys and girls, SSJ Quinn here, and today I'll be doing a video all forms of King Cold. So why am I talking here first? Well, I just want to say one thing. All of these forms of King Cold, except for one, are, um, they're not canon, they're all fan-made. But that's why I really like this video, the really, really cool what-if forms. So without further ado, let's get started. Yes, we are starting off with King Cold's first Form. This is a fan-made form. We never actually see this. It is unknown if King Colt even has a first form. But if he did have a first form, I would assume that it would look a little bit something like this. Kind of like Freeze, except with a little bit more purple in there, because his second form is a bit more purple as well. Moving on to the next one. So if you didn't know already, King Colt is Frieza and Cooler's father. And this is possibly a second form. More on that in a minute. This is the only form we actually see of King Colt in Dragon Ball Z. After Frieza's defeat on Namek, Frieza gets found by King Cold and his crew, and they turn Frieza into Mecha Frieza or Metal Frieza, whatever you want to call him. Anyways, long story short, he uh, they both take on Trunks at the same time. King Cold tries some dirty tricks like uh, letting uh, Trunks give him his sword and then just tries to slice him with it, and he doesn't have any luck. He gets killed off right away. Now again, I would assume that this is his second form, but it's never said in the show that he has any forms at all, and this could very well be his final form, even though it looks nothing like Cooler's or Freeze's. Anyways, this again, this is the only canon form. Moving on. I mean, yes, this looks like Freeze's second form, but if he had more forms, why didn't he transform while fighting Trunks? Because he got killed right away. Maybe he just wasn't smart enough to realize he can get beaten by Trunks very easily. I don't know. But yeah, he uh, it's unknown if he is uh, any stronger or weaker than Frieza. I would say close to the same level. Now, this here is Frieza's third form, created by the fan manga Dragon Ball Multiverse. Now... These guys assumed that King Cold was in his second form on planet Earth and made a third form of King Cold. He used this form in the fan manga when he was um, fighting Videl from an alternate timeline that had only humans in it. And uh, in this timeline, uh, Krillin was the uh, Turtle Hermit. Um, he was fighting Videl, and um, when they saw um, Videl, Videl had the Z-Sword. When they saw how the gods reacted to the Z-Sword, he said, I can't take this lightly and turned into his third form and started the fight like this. Moving on, this is King Cold's final form. He uses it in the same fight that he revealed his third form in, like father, like son, eh? But yes, this is his final form. Piccolo states that um, this form of King Cold is probably around 17 or 18 level, or actually he thinks it might even be closer to Android 16 level. He is still not using full power yet in Piccolo states. If King Cold did use this form when um, Trunks appeared, that Trunks and Goku would no longer be able to uh, beat him. Pretty interesting, eh? Moving on to the next one. This is King Cold's final form at 100% when he was fighting Bardock and Dragon Ball Multiverse. Bardock became a Super Saiyan. It was too much for King Cold in his final form, so he ended up going to 100%. And unlike Frieza, uh, Cooler and Frieza say, oh my god, he went to full power in, a, in the blink of an eye. And in this form, he mercs Bardock and wins the fight hands down. Again, if you want more info on these uh, all these cool forms, go read Dragon Ball Multiverse. Amazing fan manga. One of the best out there. Moving on to the next form. This is King Cold's fifth form. This isn't a version of the final form. This is actually more of a form after the final form. The exact same as the one King Cold uses, except King Cold looks terrifying. He uses this against Bulla, or if you want to call her Bra from DBZ Multiverse, or Dragon Ball Multiverse, sorry. Um, long story short, Bulla or Bra, she is extremely strong in this fan manga because she's actually the daughter of Vegito and not Vegeta. Weird, eh? So she inherited a lot of Vegito's power. Again, we don't get to see King Cold fight much in this form, but Bulla says I should be able to beat him. So instead of staying in his fifth form, aka an augmentation form, he withgoes another transformation right away into a second augmentation form, or Cooler's sixth form. Now, Dragon Ball Multiverse creators decided it like this. The first augmentation form, or shall I say the fifth form, resembles... Um, the, uh, the second form that all of Frieza's family go into, or shall I say what Frieza goes into, and the sixth form, or second augmentation form, is, you know, still more badass looking, it has all the features of the fifth form, except it resembles more of the 
third form that Frieza uses, except on a way larger scale. This form is absolutely badass. I have to give credits to the Dragon Ball Multiverse creator Saligar and Gogeta, SSJ Gogeta Jr., I believe that is. I can't remember his name. I'm super sorry. But yes, got to give mad props to the whoever created this form because it looks so badass. It looks so cool. He has four arms and look, just spikes everywhere, and he looks so good. Moving on. And last but not least, this is the final form that I have of King Cold, and it would be King Cold if he had a golden form. So I guess if you were to mesh all these forms together and make them canon, I would assume it goes like this. You have all your restricted forms that go all the way to your final form, right? And then you go into your 100% full power final form, and then you have your fifth form, your sixth form, which are aug augmented, or I guess ascended forms and then the final form or shall i say the final ascended form is golden that's a, i think that'd be cool if they were all mashed together like that and if they would have brought in those cool forms or multiverse somehow had them in uh the revival of f movie but anyways that's all for king cold's form thank you very much for watching boys and girls that's all i have for today if you liked seeing the fan made forms let me know because i would love to include more so for example if i did this with goku or gohan i can include fan made forms right um, at the end of the video, of course, I'm not going to put them in with all their legit canon forms. But anyways, tell me what you thought about this video. Did you like it? Give me a thumbs up if you feel like it. And if not, well, screw you. And um, I'm going to review, um, I'm going to try to review Dragon Ball Super this week. I'm going to try to review One Punch Man this week, the newest chapter. And I'm going to try to review the newest chapter of Attack on Titan as well. Don't want to make any promises, though, because I'm just extremely busy. So just bear with me. Life's just busy. That's all it is. Thank you very much for watching, guys, and thank you so much for all the attention I got on my All Forms of uh, Super Saiyan video. It's getting so much attention, and it's blowing up, and it's really helped me out. So thank you so much, all you guys. I got a lot of subscribers from it, and honestly, I couldn't ask for anything else. So again, thank you for all of you who commented on that video. Thank you for all of you who liked that video. Thank you for all of you who subscribed, and thank you so much for supporting me and just watching my stuff. That is all I got for today. SSJ Quinny, out of here. Boop!